Hi folks and welcome to another episode of MDI TV brought to you by Poorly Creative. My name is Pratesh Patel. Today I'm going to show you how to set up goals in Google Analytics. Um, goals could be anything from uh, downloads of a particular brochure or a set of brochures, sign-ups to a newsletter, registrations for a CAD drawing or a particular tool that you've got on your website, um, or blog roundups, wherever it may be on your website where you're um, requesting data from uh, your website visitors. So an example here is our My Digital Insider articles that get emailed out to our database on a monthly basis. In order to sign up to receive these articles, uh, you've got to fill in your details here. Um, so you'll have your contact page or subscription page or to download or to request hard copy brochures. You'll have a form on your page. Once the uh, user has filled in their details and hit that submit button, Ideally, you want to take them to, through to a thank you page or a confirmation page. And this confirmation page is not available in search engines, so you want to make it non-indexable, um, block it from search engines, and it will have itself a unique URL, so Marginal Insider forward slash sign up confirmation. So you want to head over to your analytics and you want to hit the settings button. Um, and click on the goals tab and on the goals tab um, you will be presented with a set of goals click on goal one and firstly what you want to do is name your goal uh, it could be a download of a brochure or uh, it could be a request for a blog uh, sign up and you want to paste that URL into here so the goal details goal URL and paste that particular URL here make sure you've got exact match selected from the dot drop down box this URL is not going to change, so you want to leave it as exact match. And then hit the Save button. And as you can see here, I've already set up lots of goals on the website to measure how many people sign up for our articles, blog, uh, downloads of our social media ebook, downloads of our SEO ebook, um, or even book to place at one of our events um, during 2012, uh, which you can find out more details about on our website. Once you've set up all of your goals, uh, you want to let that run for a period of four weeks um, or maybe even two months, depending on how much traffic you get through to your website. So this particular time frame, I'm looking at the last three months of uh, 2011 and I can see uh, quite quickly by going over to the conversions uh, report, selecting overview. And I can see here during that particular time frame, 508 goals occurred, which gives me a site conversion rate of 5.64. Um, now, this can be taken as a benchmark and you might turn around and say, well, OK, let's try and increase that to 6% uh, or if that percentage falls you can then go back and say well why did it drop did we cut do it did we reduce the spend that we did on advertising or lack of PR or whatever it may be uh, that is bringing traffic through to your website over here we've got the goal completion so we can see how many goals have been completed so the ebook download 97 um, downloads of the ebook that's a 19% uh, goal completion rate, sign-ups, and you'll see, you'll see a list of which are the most popular goals. Select source or medium button here, and now we've got a report that is much more insightful. Now we can see that organic traffic generated 241 goals, uh, almost accounted for 50% of the goals. So how important is SEO and organic traffic through to your, web, uh, to your website? Very important. We can see Twitter, uh, which is the t.co referral, pay-per-click campaigns, uh, twitter.com, which is the twitter.com website. Um, and now you can start seeing a list of um, sources of traffic which are most important to generate or most um, the quality traffic that's generating you those conversions. And you can see email campaigns as well. Properly tagged email campaigns help identify which email campaigns actually worked and which database is better than other databases if you wanted to compare. Um, so that's really the report that you really want to be looking at and you can drill down into more detail um, through custom reports and filters that you can apply. Um, but this is enough to kind of give you a snapshot as to which sources of traffic are um, the best at converting traffic through to leads. Hopefully that gives you some information on setting up goals um, and looking at the conversion report in analytics and understanding quality sources of traffic. Join us again next time. Uh, if you've got any questions, please do let us know. Talk at poorlycreative.co.uk or send us a tweet on Twitter. See you again next time. Bye.